Lord's Horror, and I have another box of beauty for you guys. I finally got my NECA Ghost Face Inferno figure. This is pretty much an ultimate figure, and uh, I must say, the packaging blew me away. The only thing I'm going to be having issues is with the ring light. So let's get it started. As you can see, the ring light really kills it, but it doesn't do it justice. But once you get this figure in hand, or you see it at the stores, or you order online, you're going to be blown away by packaging. That could really kill the packaging. As you can see inside the box, the promo picture of the figure. And then right here, the interchangeable heads it comes with. And I'll read the back, it says, uh, it includes flamethrower, fire effect, voice changer, pitchfork, knives, machetes, interchangeable mask, and hand. And let's open this bad boy up. Boom. Even the inside, you guys can't tell, but I'm really blown away by this figure. The only thing that sucks with mine is like, it doesn't stand well. See? And I do keep uh, the Octonade boxes from NECA. So I'm gonna, I usually don't do this. Open it from the bottom. Let me see if I can open it from the bottom. I don't want to damage the box too. This one, I'm definitely gonna keep this one. There, the chrome face. As you can see, he's out of the package. Came out easily. So let's uh, take a closer look at this ghost face, um, Inferno. And uh, we're gonna be taking a closer look at his details, articulation, and then photos from there. We're gonna be taking a closer look at the NECA Ghost face inferno figure. This is pretty much an ultimate figure, even though it doesn't say in the box. And I already must say that this looks amazing. My only complaint already that I don't really like are the knees. They're not double knees, they're just a single knee. And they're kind of hard to bend. I don't want to break it. I just got this figure, man. And what makes it different from the other previous uh, Ghost face figures? He has a vest, bulletproof vest. And they actually didn't just paint them black, you know, like um, the other figures. And his masters are, his hood just come down. I don't know how to take out the, maybe just pop up the head. Let's take a look at his body really quick. And I guess that's, that's how you take off the, the hood or whatever. As you can see, there's flesh. Like the previous uh, ghost figures that we got from NECA, they were just all painted black. But this one actually has uh, flesh to it, and um, and he has a freaking bulletproof vest. I'm hoping they make a ultimate of these ones. As you can see, here's the body, and it's on the ball joint. So let's put on his mask again. So as you can see, here's a ghost face without his. Uh, his hood or whatever you want to call it. So let's check out the articulation. So he does have a waist articulation, rotation. It doesn't bend that much. And single elbow. Yeah, single elbow. Kind of disappointed. But what can you do? What can you do? And then single knee bend at the knee up right there. That's how far it gets. That's a hike, uh, kick, and swivel, all the 360, nice. And it's on the hinge, or, yeah, it's on the bar hinge, but it's kind of hard. I don't want to mess too much with it. And his right knee is a little, yeah, his right knee doesn't bend that much. Like his left knee are the same, pretty much. I'm hoping I didn't get a defect on mine. Because this was, this figure was... Oh, what was it? It was hard to stand. I can't stand them straight. I'm hoping that I didn't get a defect. Let's see. That's how much he get bent. Yeah, his left, his right knee just bends barely. I can see his left knee bends more. So I don't know if I got defect or that's that's how it is. Okay, I'll break it. It does bend. 
you do the splits. So this part right here is, I think, is it rubber? Yeah, it's rubber. So that's why it's squeaking and then you're able to bend it that much. And then rotation with the hands. And it's on a swivel as well. That's pretty much it with the articulation and then the head rotation 360 buttery smooth. Up. Well, my head comes off easy for some reason. Yeah. yeah. At, at least they're not pinning ass like previous uh previous neck configures, they'll like be stuck in there. So it's easy to pop off. So let's take a look at his uh accessories really quick then. Check out his other heads. Alright, this is all the accessories it comes with. I'm just, I'm not really gonna show the hands because you know that's your typical hands. But well, here's the flamethrower, the flame. His original OG mask, the devil mask, and this was like the from Stab and the pig fork. And then the knives are cool because they're actually metallic. I don't know if you guys can tell. And the machete. And another machete. Two machetes pretty much. So let's try out and the uh, voice changer. And let's try on the other heads. All right, here are the three interchangeable heads. The first one up is the OG. As you can see, he's in a ball joint. And then this is from the, I think the Stan movies. And for this, for some reason, this one doesn't have like the little hood part and there's peg holes. So I'm, I'm guessing um, with the chrome mask, we could take it off. That's pretty cool. And then put it on, boom. And then, uh, the devil mask one. Amazing sculpt and the paint job is really nice. Can you take this one out too? Oh, you can. Oh, that's pretty cool. As you can see, there's like different style hoods as well. And I did not know that they're interchangeable. Are all of them like that? Yeah, they are. That's freaking sweet. So you don't have to buy a like. I wonder if NECA would come out with like the heads, like the hood parts. That's pretty nice right there. And you can have like a little display of the mask. That's freaking cool right here. So, let's, uh, I got an idea, but let's take a look at his accessories. And here's a chrome knife I was talking about. This is freaking awesome, guys. NECA's really stepping up their game. I don't know like I have bad lighting right now, it's like cloudy. Am I getting good lighting right now? I wish I had better lighting. But it's pretty simple, but the chrome really gives it that nice effect. And there's a, uh, another knife with the, it has blood on it though. With a chrome knife. So I'm gonna be displaying the chrome version because this one's caught my eye first. And then the voice changer, small, you can really see it. And then two machetes. You know, pretty simple paint job. And then the flamethrower. Gonna be cooking up some some people. The flame effect. As you can see, Neko always does an amazing job with the little flames and stuff. And then not, last but not least, it's pitchfork. And uh let me show you the, the, the hands. They actually put detail into these. They actually like they look like a uh, leather material. So your this is your typical hands, nothing special, you know. But I'll show you guys really quick. So now let's try on the masks. So I'm just gonna uh, take some photos from here, guys, and show you how the the pretty much how it, how it looks. So I'm gonna take some photos and then end the video here. And then if you enjoy the video content, please make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I highly recommend this Ghost Face figure. This is like, I think like the more unique one because it comes with the uh, different style of the heads. And then the first time ever, we got the bull bulletproof vest Ghost Face figure, to my knowledge. But I highly recommend it, guys. If you could get it um, from Target, like either Target or Walmart. I ordered this from Walmart, but... I had to pay shipping and I don't know about you guys. I'm going to be kind of slowing down on collecting because this figure alone was 45 with shipping. Like I think Neko's prices are going up for Ultimates. 
before they were 34 and go, they're going for like 36 37 but i am still going to be collecting but it's going to be like for me iffy like the ones i really need or want in my collection and if you guys run into the same issues uh leave, leave a comment below if you guys are like damn i want to collect start uh, collect but as the prices rise i'm gonna be like buying the stuff that i really want you know so that's my little rant right there but i highly recommend this figure so i'll touch for some photos from here and then if you enjoyed the video please make sure to leave like comment and subscribe and share and i highly recommend this figure